Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 3 of our Luck of the Irish quick play achievement run here as Ulster. Last episode, we had a war with a very slapped hard, I guess broken down England here, attacked from all sides, really, which was kind of unfortunate for them, but it gave me access to, uh, well, what's now called mead instead of the um, instead of the pale here but uh, we actually did this a little bit sooner than I thought we would which leaves us with a few extra years to do whatever we would like pretty much because usually you'd wait uh, to go into Scotland first but uh, we're doing this the opposite way around I guess speaking of Scotland let's start off by giving them a rival status over here because what we're going to aim for is for Scotland to actually try and declare on us. That would be the preferable thing. However, of course, we'd both want to wait a few years. Their aggressive expansion is rather large. My aggressive expansion is really big, actually, compared to what it could slash should have been. Um, we can also just flesh out the rest of our army here with, I suppose, another cab is fine. And oh, we're making a pretty decent amount, meaning we might want to get a couple of advisors. The missionary strength doesn't help. None of these things actually help. Okay, great. Uh, that's not super useful. This one's not super useful. None of these are incredibly useful, which is fantastic. And uh, if you're wondering, by the way, I did have to rename some of these, or I did rename them. Here we have the OD Armed Force and the Mesut Maritime Navy here, which I couldn't really fit on there. I don't think so, at least. No. You can't, unfortunately. But, um... That's what we're going to call it. The Mesa Maritime Fleet, I suppose. That's the best name I could come up with. And those are the patron donation uh, rewards right there. If you're interested, the link is in the description. But, anyways, let's continue our game today. We have a couple of, uh, you know, uprisings, apparently. And, uh, you know, France is actually offering us an alliance. However... Oh, did you... Mm, interesting. I'm going to see if... Maybe that'll change... Uh the whole opinion of the guarantee here because you're my ally france actually would not do anything here okay okay i'm just curious i'm trying to see how likely a war with scotland would actually look here depending on you know how the france situation looks is really how we're going to determine what we do here now let's bump it to speed five here i don't think we'll have any separatists that will be like an actual issue for the next little while, which is nice. Um, I actually will grab these, though. Because I do need some. Something here. I might as well grab a third one. Let's go with... Well... Fort Defense. And as I do that, I will be getting rid of this fort, actually. Because it's not, not really that useful. This one's nice to have, but this one... Eh, not so much. We'll also be developing the Renaissance in here, I believe. Let me go check on that progress, because uh, we're getting none of it. Absolutely 0%. Now, we could see... Uh, I mean, it really depends here. London's going at a decent speed, but... Uh, crossing this gap here is going to be hard for Scotland. Unless they do it themselves. How quickly is this moving? Not very quickly. I think they're deving it a little. Are you, have you been deving? Potentially, I think you have been deving. Yes, okay. I'll just do the same thing then, I don't actually care. Uh, let's start off with what I want to spend the least of, which would be admin. Next we would have, I suppose it would be, uh, you know, military, but... Oh, right, yes, we have to do this, and then this, and then this, and then that one, that one, and then we'll wait for another admin click, I believe. Oh, and the Burgundian inheritance just happened. Good thing, uh, I guess, that Austria got it, or else we'd have some contest contestants here, because Castile would be a little bit broken. So New World, any sort of colonization would be a little bit harder if Castile got it, because they'd be a lot more powerful, of course. But, uh, you know, that's if we were to play long-term, long game kind of thing. I don't know if we will or what we're really doing, but... Anyways. We're choking down some overextension is what we're doing, apparently. Which is doing fine. 
I could take this. Uh, 590. Okay. Do I want this first? Or do I want this first? That's a tough decision. I think I kind of want the Renaissance first. Not gonna lie. I think I would much prefer the Renaissance. Because this is still going to be a certain number of points, but if I develop it, then this is only going to cost less. So I'm technically saving points by not taking it right now. Yeah, okay, that's that's kind of fair. That's kind of how it works. Okay, uh, so that one's going to be another click. Do we have enough clicks for this? Ten clicks? We don't have enough for that, do we? Let's check here. Ooh, not even slightly. Okay. We're going to have to go all the way up past 30 dev, I believe. Oh, convenient admin event right there. Very nice. We still have a few years on the military. I don't want to spend so much military, but we might not have an option here. Also, uh, I've rivaled you, but I should also issue the embargo. I wonder if France will get rid of that guarantee. Who knows? They might. They might not. It's part of their mission tree, I believe, to ally Scotland, but we'll have a hard time doing that, I think. Depending. Rivals and stuff like that might create problems for them. I don't actually know. I'm kind of hoping it does. Really don't want those guys to pop. What is that? An 8k? Yeah, it's an 8k. Which is more than the actual army size, I think, that they could even hold, so. Interesting. Okay, war exhaustion, right? Yeah, we were just at war, that makes sense. Maybe decrease that spawn rate a little bit, that's nice. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Once the cores are done, that should decrease our national unrest just about enough. Just about to fix that, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't spawn in that time, of course. Um, how is this looking? About a month or two, yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of this fort in about a month. Once this is done. And we'll get rid of this. I no longer need it, I don't think. Okay, how are these? Let's go for this and this. Now would that be enough? 3.66. Yeah, I still don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough points. Unfortunately. We're gonna have to wait a little while, I think. One admin, one military, and then maybe enough for Diplo. We'll have to see. Because really, if you think about it... Also, is that our heir or king? Ooh. That is our heir with a tech cost decrease. I really do like that heir. That is a 136, total points of 10, which is better than our 6, who's rather subpar, so. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick thing here, and hopefully he dies. Maybe. Might even drill the army to try and increase that chance. We'll see. Let me just uh, get rid of this whole separatism business over here first. I think that should be low enough that I can drop the maintenance. You can start drilling. Okay, one click here, one click here. Total of 58% left. And four times, not quite 10, would be, uh, yeah, not not quite 40, which is... God, yeah, let's, let's wait a little while here. I'm still going to spend the most... Um, I'm still going to try and spend the most... What am I trying to say here? Wait, was that the right guy? No, it was this guy. Cool. Still gonna try and spend the most Diplo out of everything else. Because I don't need it as much. And I would much prefer to have this, uh... Much prefer to have admin and uh, military and stuff like that. Come on, I just need a few more clicks over here. Wonder how this situation's looking. I don't know when they'll attack me. All I know is that they will at some point. Uh, also, since I have so much money, I was thinking of rebuilding my fleet here. Now, I want to um, outclass the Scottish Navy, actually. Which currently has a cap of uh, 19 ships and 15 currently out. I would like to match that. Um, what do you have? You have some expensive stuff over here, I think. 
You have a heavy, a couple of transports, and a couple of lights. Okay. I'm going to be doing mostly light spam. I'm going to build, like, one heavy, I think. Just right there. But definitely light spam. Um, speaking of light spam, spam is the correct word because look at that. That's disgusting. Much prefer to do it this way. And maybe a couple extra, like a... There we go. These guys can go ahead and protect in the... I guess the English Channel. If nothing else, right? Apparently that uh, does something. Oh! France was giving me subsidies. I didn't even notice. Ah, that's why I'm making so much money, huh? <laughs> that makes sense. Bit of corruption up there kind of sucks. Alright, let's try and root that out a little bit slowly. Ah, now let's go for the full thing, actually. As long as we currently have the money, we should be spending it, as far as I can tell. On improving ourselves and trying to, uh... Ooh, wow. That's a ballsy move, my friends. Uh, I'm trying to... Try to catch up with Scotland a little bit here. Wait for some manpower to come back in. Uh, spend as much money as possible to make ourselves strong. And, um... Question what France is doing over here. It's a little interesting. I, I don't know. That's a... Quite the ballsy move here. It looks like they're actually the attacker against Castile. Who was allied with... Oh, wow. That is interesting. Fascinating, I have to admit. But what makes you so sure that's a good idea? France and Venice. That sounds like a bad combination. That sounds like a fail, failing kind of combination, actually. That doesn't sound right to me. Something here doesn't seem like it'll work out. Anyways, uh, that's none of our business for now, except for how strong France is, really. But we can pick our next thing here. Uh, do I want the money or the manpower? Hmm. That is the question to ask. I kind of want... Hmm. I kind of, I kind of want the decreased nobility, actually. I think I do want that. I'm going to create a couple states in less... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay. No corn yet. No corn quite yet. I think this finally should be enough. 53%. A uh, man can dream, but I don't think that's going to happen. Ah, yikes. That really does suck, huh? I kind of hoped, kind of dreamt for a minute there, but um, we can speed up the rest of the process, I believe. 0.5 a month does not take that long, so I think I'll just ride out the rest of it, honestly. I think that's perfectly fine. We should maybe also... Eh, no, that's fine. Well, yeah, sure. How's Scotland looking? In total dev, actually, I'm curious. Because I don't know if you guys have as much dev as I do. Let's be honest, you probably do. Around equal, if not more, just because I've uh, boosted up so much dev in here. It's a little bit ridiculous, but eh. Okay, let's get those lights rolling out onto the uh, open seas here. Don't want to get my army, so I'll do that. I'll do this. Group them all up. Uh, these guys are already down there. Very nice. Grab these guys, and we'll just send them back over to, well... Hold on. Yeah, English Channel, I suppose. I don't know if that function still, you know, works or not, or if it ever did work in the first place. It's supposed to give you an accurate reading, but who actually knows if it is? Eh, it could be. Yeah, it could also not be. Our current uh, fleet maintenance is only like 0 0.6 ducats a month, which will increase pretty drastically with the addition of the heavy, with 0 0.46 by itself. So, uh, yeah, that's going to hurt. What else are we waiting on? Oh yeah, the advisors. I did get that level 2 guy. Based only on the fact we were getting subsidies, though. So, uh, I don't know. Do we want to maybe change him back out? Just because he's really expensive? Kind of, a little bit. Um, but we don't have anyone to swap him with, is the problem. We'd have to wait for him to die, I think. Which is a shame, but it's true. Hmm. Okay. 
Maybe we should start getting some claims too. I'm sure I have some claims already. Yeah, the highlands, but what about this? What about the strait? The strait is where I want the claims. Yeah, why does I want the highlands first before this stuff? So what do we have here? The highlands and then Scotland. Oh yeah, Scotland was sort of a whole bunch of different things. Not just this, the highlanders and the Scottish were not entirely the same thing. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Well, you can tell because the culture map mode, but yeah, anyway. Enough of that. Uh, so, Wales down here would be one of the missions. Trinity College would be impossible, pretty much, for this run. Invade England is very much possible. Rule Britannia is just owning the whole goddamn thing, which is literally the achievement, so... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I just want to get to five army professionalism, just in case. We need more manpower or something. I'll give the clergy some things, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess. As for the other things, do I care about this? A little bit, because I can make churches, which are nice. Yeah, I suppose I do kind of care. Let's wait for this to be done. One more month, and... Oh, already an imperial reform, huh? That's all this stuff getting added in then, I suppose. Those French cores? No, those are claims. Ah, but they're blue, so they look interesting. Okay. Now, how did this war end? It looks like they separate pieced Austria out. Did they take anything? Eh, they might have. Yep, it looks like they grabbed a few things out of here. Okay, interesting. And now they're turning their attention towards Castile, who... They're losing against for now, but we'll see how that turns out. Okay. That only costs 84 ducats. Uh, do I want the spread? Does the spread matter? Not really. I don't think I care about this spread. I think I'd much rather just turn this off. Uh, probably stop drilling the army, because that'll save us some cash. Um, and I'll just build ourselves back up to like 84 ducats in some way. I'll, I'll figure it out, I suppose. I could just fire one of these guys, probably this one, if it uh, really comes down to that. Yeah, but again, we'll see. I only really need it, ah, well in two years actually, that does kind of matter a little bit. Just a tad bit. Also, I should probably... Where is my insult button? There it is. Scornful insult. That's a really weak one. Uh, oh look, there's some lovely film. Okay, nice. We'll go with that one. That sounds good to me. Let's send you down to... Ew, both of these suck. Okay, cool. North Sea, I guess. Over here in... Wait, should I be privateering instead? I'm. Maybe I should be privateering instead. Privateer Lubeck, perhaps? Yeah, that's usually the better thing to do. I should be privateering in Lubeck. Probably. Oh my god, is that an extra two base production in my capital? Uh, that's a little bit unfair. Oh, but I can get an actual extra national tax. Plus 50%. Eh. I'd rather the permanent production, actually, I think. Yeah, I think I'd rather that much. This is per month, each production. 13, I'm not going to do that math. But it's a yearly income of 8 point... Uh, that's actually just went up by 2 ducats per year, I think. Which, eh, I guess it's a little bit better. It's technically speaking. Feels a little worse for now, but it, it is better. Uh, let's also send you guys back home, actually, because you should be privateering... ...in Lubeck on the basis of slightly damaged. Because I don't think we actually have enough sailors for this. Oh no, we do. We do. Never mind. Totally fine. Um, that's not two reforms though, right? No, that was one and some Austria thing. Which I don't know what that was, but some Austria thing existed there. Oh, did you just rival me? Ooh, that's really interesting. Okay, cool. 
We still have a truce. How are you looking, actually, England? I'm, I'm curious. England with a total of less ships than I, but they have the heavies, which are terrifying. Um, they also have an army the size of a pea. Yeah, they don't have much. But I'm sure they'll mobilize the instant we declare any sort of war. So I'm kind of expecting Scotland to go to war first, and then I'll dogpile in like last time. Or I'll just declare on Scotland while, uh, while they're at war with England. Hey, that kind of counts too. Yeah, I think that counts. That counts just fine. Now, let's grab these rocks over here. Let's send them over to... Do this, actually. In theory, this form of privateering will be quite nice. If you guys actually go and, you know, privateer. Let's see here. Lubeck gives us 0.46. Yeah, I'd say that's a fair amount. Yeah, pretty alright amount. How much of this is pirates? 8%? Not a bad amount. Not bad at all. Oh, are you guys hunting? They might be hunting us. To the point where we get nothing. Which then kind of sucks, because I don't think they're bringing in anything anymore. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, could just go back to the English Channel then. I'm kind of done with dealing with that garbage. Let's get ourselves zero claims, actually, because we already have a few permanent claims. I'm curious as to how our situation is going to be here. This war or this war? This would be a good war, actually, against Scotland. Really depends on if they're going to declare it or if we're going to declare it. I'd prefer they declare it, actually. I'd much prefer that. Uh, for that, I'd have to make myself look weak, um, but I'm allied to... Yeah, I'm allied to France, so... Ooh, and you're allied to Scotland. This might be my only chance. Hmm. Okay, let's boost up the army and let's move them over. We might have to play around a little bit with Scotland and landings and such. Make ourselves appear like, oh, we're not actually across the street, and then we're actually going to be across the street. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to move the army back in when we have the opportunity. I have a plan here that usually works out with Scotland. I'm going to see if it works out this time. Usually is the key word to keep in mind here. Also, let me just uh, get rid of you know whatever's left here while we're raising the army. Okay, uh, now that we have everyone together, I hope we have enough time for this, actually. I, I don't know if we do. We'll find out, I guess. Thank you. Bring you guys together. To declare on Scotland would be not bad. We'd have to go for, like, Ayrshire or something, which we can't actually do, so I guess it'll be Argyll. Um, yeah. Let's, let's figure something out here. Now, Scotland will automatically cross, I think, as long as they don't see us. Ah, there's my timer. That's really inconvenient. I don't want to start this war, then do I? No, I kind of do. I kind of do. Just a tad bit. I want to steal money so I can get the renaissance, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, okay. Okay. I think I'll declare the war. And we'll figure out what to do from here. Um, yes, okay. Now, it depends on if the Scottish would like to play defensively today, or if they're going to play offensively. We really don't know how this is going to work out. The best plan we can go with, I think, is chilling in this area where they cannot see us because it's not a coast. One of these areas, really. Anywhere they can't see us. And usually... Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. They don't see us right now, which is great. Um, let's see here. Will they... Wait for them to lock in. That's how you know it's a definite victory. Okay, we get there on the 24th. They get there on the 20th. Actually, can I pause that for a few seconds? I'd like to. 24th, 20th. Yeah, let me, let me pause this. Pause this crossing. We'll start it again. Okay, 29th. I can get there on the 26th. Hmm, that's a bit of an issue. How about... You guys have a two maneuver, I have a two maneuver. We're equal in... Yeah, in a lot of things, but not most things. How about I grab this guy? The actual general? But that that kind of makes sense, I suppose. 3rd of October. I can get there on the 2nd. Will they lock in next turn? No, okay. 
Need to find a faster way through here, I think. Oh, maybe that's it. Who knows? Hmm. 8th of October. 5th. If I can get there on the 4th. Fifteenth, I get there on the fifteenth. Do I become the defender though? Yeah, actually, I would. I would because it's it's a woods fort. So I mean, yeah. Uh, yes, beautiful. Okay, crossing minus two, terrain minus one, and we're gonna do something a little bit sketchy here, which is kind of illegal, but also completely legal to do, and that is stack wiping the entire well, not the entire, but most of the Scottish army in uh, one fell swoop. Really simple, you just need a few ingredients, a uh, decent navy, Scottish crossing onto your isles, and a few days for a quick stack wipe. That's all you need for uh, an easy invasion of Scotland. There they go. Well, that was fast, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Now, the only other thing is I think they're going to go for round two, actually. Which they, they might, they might, yeah. They're, they're definitely going to go for uh, round two here. So, the Scottish have lost a fairly decent number of men here. We're just going to sit by and recover. Hop back into our little hiding port here. Well, we lose a ridiculous amount of money per month because of the army maintenance. And this stuff. Which is all fun and games. Hope I don't have to take out any loans. That would kind of suck. But yeah, we're going to wait for the Scottish to come back around for round two. As they will do. They'll do it. Speed 5 until they just reorganize the mercs. Oh, we even get one of these. I'll invest for the Pope Man bonus. And, uh, I think we're actually out of time for today. Unfortunately. It really does suck. But, uh, we'll continue this war with Scotland next episode, I believe. You saw how easy it was to just deal with the first initial amount there, so... This war with Scotland is just for, I think, uh, a few things here and a bit of money. That's really all I want here. Because, I mean, the coalition isn't a real coalition. It's two nations who hate each other and definitely wouldn't join against me. So, also because truces, but anyways. Despite that, uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a massive thanks to the following February patrons. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Dylan M, Quangersol, and Rising Runner. In the $5 tier, we have Odie, and in the $20 tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your donations, you're helping to move this channel forward, and I can't possibly thank you enough.